Dave West needs to pursue their dreams into becoming a professional wrestler and a practitioner of the art of professional wrestling. I have been a uh, pro wrestler for the last 16 years. Uh, I debuted in June 1999, and then a few years later, 2004, uh, I opened up the uh, Trophy Chamber. Uh, it's been 11 years now. Uh, in fact, we just had our anniversary uh, the first week of January. That's when the school first started. And I've been fortunate and blessed to have uh, the ability to teach and improve the skills of future professional wrestlers. here in Montreal uh, from a gentleman called Mark Dillon and uh, he taught a lot of the, the pro wrestlers in Quebec. When I went to the Inoki Dojo, uh, it was just like the next level uh, because they're preparing all the practitioners there to get a job at New Japan or any other of the uh, affiliates that are associated with New Japan pro wrestling. You had to learn what was instilled from within. Like nobody told you, hey, you have to step it up. You just knew when you walked through that door, you had to conduct yourself like a professional. And if you didn't know what it was, you had to learn very quickly how to be a professional. You know what I mean? And this, a lot of this has to do with, you know, the Japanese tradition. To be honorable, to be respectful. These are things that people should be uh, normally, you know, but if uh, you're not, you get a quick, you know, learning experience when you get there. Uh, at that point, that was the first um, tryout I had uh, with the majors and how I got that was uh, I was wrestling for years for the National Wrestling Alliance. Uh, I was the British Commonwealth Champion uh, and the North American Champion. No, I, was, I was a champion a couple, a couple times for the end of the way. Anyway, the point is uh, we have an anniversary show every year where all the promoters get together talk about business and then they would highlight or, or show show their top guys that they would have you know uh, matches within two days so i was nwa quebec and i wrestled nwa ireland's uh, Fergal devon which is finn balor i had the match with Fergal and uh the nwa uh the enoki uh, was there uh dave marquez was the representative and uh, he saw us and he invited us to down that gave me the opportunity. And uh, all this to say, because I was at the Adobe Dojo and I was you know, rubbing elbows with, like, you know, uh, Carl Anderson, Andrew Kruger, uh, Fergal Devin, uh, Alice Coswell, uh, Rocky Romero was trying to help me and, ass and assist the teach. There were so many guys, plus, you know, New Japan guys that would come in. And uh, my teacher at the time was Kendo Cashin. And, uh, you know, just being around these people as these high elite athletes, it forced you to step your game up. You had to. And uh, I just thought that that was what needed and what had to be brought back here. Then after that we do uh, skip rope work just to get the dexterity, mobility, agility, and also the warm up. And then we do cardio. And cardio consists of anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes of uh, cardiovascular training uh, in order for you to uh, be prepared for the rigors of uh, professional wrestling. You could be the biggest guy, you could be the fastest guy, you don't have the gas tank, you know what I mean, to, uh, to, to, to wrestle. Under the, under the bright lights, within five, six minutes, you'll get gassed out. Things that they have to uh, mentally prepare for coming into the chamber uh, is to uh, be able to be coachable, to listen, uh, to have an open mind, to be willing to be taught and corrected. Uh, 
Um, it's almost like uh, army training where they break you down and build you back up. It's the same thing. Whatever uh, perceived uh, notions you have before wrestling, uh, before you enter here, definitely will change. So you've got to just be able to be uh, in shape mentally and physically and be prepared to, uh, to give 110%. Uh, first of all, the, office, the ring, which I like to call is the office, is a privilege. Uh, you have to be really serious. It's not, you know, play wrestling and get in there and, you know, you live vicariously through, you know, whichever images of your favorite wrestlers. Um, we want you to take this as seriously as possible, but with the fun that's involved. Like, why else would you do it unless, you, you know, you have a passion for it, you have a love for it. It takes it usually, you know, everyone has a different learning curve. I like to try to get them in the ring within about two months, three months as far as running the ropes and, and learning basic drills, shoulder tackle drills, bumps, uh, to learn their ring placement and ring psychology. Uh, but what usually happens is that the first month, you're learning your roles. Uh, you'll get in the ring to learn how to do your break balls, uh, but we'll emphasize on chain wrestling. We'll get the chain wrestling, we'll get uh, the mat wrestling, and when I feel uh, that I'm comfortable with your ability, uh, with your footwork, with your technique, then it lets me know, hey, he's ready for this stage, we're going on to the second stage. And that's running the ropes, uh, learning how to uh, manipulate your opponent through Irish whips, uh, Irish whip reversals, how to take tackles, and just how to move around in the ring uh, in a safe and orderly fashion. Then defended in Ireland, made the first international defense there. 
uh, wrestled uh, defending the title in Quebec and Ontario. Also, uh, Antonio Corsi, he's a former uh, NWA National Wrestling Alliance Canadian Tag Team Champion. You'll, you'll see him on the Sente helping out. We even have uh, Don Boulanger, he just, just graduated and already you know, he's helping the guys out. He just won a, a local indie title. Uh, he's the FCL heavyweight champion. And then the Stu Corvus. Uh, he's our current, uh, he's our, the current NWA British Commonwealth champion. Uh, you know, even though he, he may not be around as much, that's only because for the, 11, for the last 11 years, he's, he's paid his dues. He's always coming in. He'll still come in seasonal and help with the, with the guys and stuff like that. And he's been doing that for years, you know. So, and he's been helping. He's he's won numerous championships uh, on the indie scene, and he's been the NWA uh, Canadian Tag Team Champion. Also, this uh, Eddie Erdogan. He was gone for a while. Uh, he was our 2013 Rookie of the Year. Uh, did some big things. He was a Quebec Rookie of the Year. Uh, so was Antonio. A lot of what's cool about the school is that usually we have our own awards. And uh, we always give out a rookie of the year. And usually, nine out of ten times, that they end up being also the Quebec rookie of the year. So I guess we have, you know, the vein, the pulse on the vein. What's great about the school? The school is whatever you want to make it. I, I really love to teach. Uh, and there's nothing better than seeing that light spark when the student realizes uh, his or hers infinite potential. Like I said, it's, it's the school. If you, if you uh, really want to be a pro wrestler, just come check it out. Head instructor at the Torture Chamber Pro Wrestling Dojo in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. If you have any dreams, if you have any aspirations, if you have a want, a need to become a professional wrestler, then this is the only facility for you to come and see what it takes to become a professional wrestler. Come on down. We have everything that we're going to provide for you. We'll teach you the basic fundamentals of professional wrestling. We'll teach you ring psychology ring placement, mat wrestling, body throws, everything. This is the place. Torture Chamber Pro Wrestling. Drew Onyx here. We can't wait. Like our monitor says, 